Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for hanging out with us here at HBCU Game Day. You know, football season, we are just weeks away. There's a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz in Greensboro, North Carolina, because it is a maiden voyage for North Carolina A&T. A lot of change in the air as they leave the MEAC, and they are, they are two feet in. They are ten toes down in the Big South right now. And one voice that you can rely on as you keep up with the Aggies this year a good friend of mine, he is the founder of Tobacco Road Sports Radio. Let's welcome Desmond Johnson to HBCU Game Day. Desmond, my, my man. Like I, I could say that and just be like, yeah, my man. But this is my <laughs> man, Desmond. We go back, man. Uh, high school games yes. in Greensboro, just yes. making it happen, man, on a wing and a prayer. Uh, congratulations on the new content. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, but first, man, uh, t t tell us, a lot of people might not know you, but <laughs> if they follow sports in the triad area of North Carolina, you've had your hand in a lot of the things they have read, heard, and seen. Uh, just give us quickly, man, a little bit of background on Tobacco Road Sports Radio. Oh, man. Um, so first of all, man, it's always good to see you, my brother. Uh, like you said, we go back to, you know, calling football games and chicken coops pretty much. It felt like a lot of times uh, <laughs> about a decade back when we was doing this in Greensboro. Um, a lot of people, they may, like you said, they may have seen some of my work or heard some of my work, but may not have put two and two together. Uh, I'm Desmond Johnson. I'm the owner of Tobacco Road Sports Radio. Um, I was formerly the creative director, program manager for WSJS Sports Hub here in the triad. Uh, some of you may recognize my voice as uh, I was the producer for The Drive with Josh Graham for the first year and a half. Um, I also own SportsCarolinaMonthly.com. So somewhere over the past 12, 13 years, you've probably picked up a magazine uh, in a local pizza place or car dealership for Sports Carolina Monthly. Uh, that, that site, well, that got moved into a, a 24-7 website, SportsCarolinaMonthly.com. Uh, that covers triad sports and tobacco road um, actually started a little bit later than I wanted it to. Um, it, we launched Labor Day weekend of 2020. So we're actually coming up on our one year anniversary here uh, really soon. And it's grown uh, considerably since we first started. Uh, I wanted to do something after working uh, at Sports Hub. I wanted to do something that was more locally uh, influenced. Uh, I just realized doing a lot of high school sports here. Uh, getting to know the college coaches here, that North Carolina in particular, the triad has grown in terms of stature, in terms of five-star players coming out of here, uh, college kids coming out of here. They're getting national notoriety, like uh, like an Isaiah Miller at UNCG. Like, that stuff didn't happen 10 years ago. And I realized there wasn't really an outlet that could cover all of this stuff um, with recent layoffs at the newspapers and uh, other media outlets kind of cutting back. It kind of opened up a whole here in the triad of uh, coverage. So I grouped together a lot of like-minded individuals that were all kind of uh, strong-willed and could work themselves. They were already doing stuff, podcasts and things like that on their own. They were already doing stuff with me off and on. And basically we just kind of had to wait COVID out in 2020. Uh, there was like five months where there were no sports. <laughs> so we couldn't really launch a sports uh, outlet until they started coming back around. And uh, it just went from doing couple podcasts here and there, a couple of live sporting events here and there. So it got to a point where we had built up enough where we could run a weekly schedule. And uh, that's where we are now. And 2021 is looking pretty crazy. So uh, I'm just, just happy to be able to contribute and to shine light on uh, athletes and coaches and uh, staff that never get that exposure before. And, and you you secured a pretty big deal for your company uh, with North Carolina A&T as, as we kind of tease to to start off our conversation here today, talking with Desmond Johnson from Tobacco Road Sports Radio. Uh, tell us about how people in the triad in North Carolina can keep up with the Aggies uh, on your platform. So uh, you have a couple of ways you'll be able to uh, listen to North Carolina A&T football. Uh, North Carolina A&T basketball and all of the coaches shows associated with North Carolina A&T. So uh, coach Sam Washington uh, with the basketball, um, excuse me, with the football team, coach Jones with the football team. I think we're doing girls basketball too. I, I got to double check on that, but uh, to get to them, uh, if you're in the triad, you can listen to them on WWBG uh, 1470 AM, which covers pretty much all of Guilford County. So you can get to that on traditional uh, terrestrial radio. 
Uh, most of us, though, will probably pull it off of our hip and listen to it on our phone, tablet, laptop, no matter where you are in the country. So anti-alumni, if you no longer live in the triad and you want to listen to Aggie football games uh, with Donald Ware as the play-by-play, uh, go to TobaccoRoadSportsRadio.com. Uh, the a pregame show, I believe, is an hour before kickoff. And then, uh, and then the games in their entirety will be on Tobacco Road Sports Radio. So uh, we're very fortunate that A&T decided to go with us uh, this year. Uh, I've actually worked with A&T producing their content for the past two or three years uh, at previous stops. So they were already familiar with me. I was already familiar with them. Uh, it just made a perfect match for us to get together. And with them moving to the Big South, uh, it's, a, it's a huge opportunity for them to show the country, what me and you and everybody else has already known about AMT athletics, uh, they, they are a problem. <laughs> they are a problem in multiple sports. So they're about to find out. And uh, we're just happy to be able to be the, the conduit to get it out to an even wider audience for uh, AMT fans and alumni this year. So, uh, Des, how do you feel the Aggies are going to do uh, transitioning to the Big South? A lot of people might not be familiar, you know, household names with some of the teams that are there, but at the FCS level um, of college football, they are a contender for championships uh, year in and year out. Kennesaw State's about to, to go back home to, to the A-Sun, but they're going to be there for one more year. Uh, you got Monmouth. Uh, you, you got really some, some, some heavyweight teams to deal with. How do you think the Aggies will do? I think they're going to fit like a hand in a glove. I mean, I really do. Uh, I don't think the Big South is ready for the speed, the team speed that a and is going to be bringing into this league. And it's not like A&T moved into this conference after struggling in the, in the MEAC. I mean, they were pretty much dominant the past couple of years we've been able to play, uh, winning uh, back-to-back, if I'm not mistaken, uh, HBCU National Championships. So, and it wasn't against, like, uh, you know, weak competition either. So uh, the Aggies are steeled for this, uh, and I don't think they would have moved up. Uh, if they didn't feel like they could compete, you know, immediately, like right off the bat. So I fully expect them in football and basketball uh, to be a threat to to come out Big South champions from day one, season one. So it should be fun um, to see a and acclimate themselves to, you know, a different style of football, different style of play, different conference or whatnot. But it'll also be fun to see these other Big South teams try to figure out what to do with this team that they haven't seen before. Uh, so this, this first season is going to be really fun for a t as a team and for the fan base. Uh, Jabane Martin at Media Day, Big South Media Day last week, uh, he said, we're not here to make friends. He said, we're not even here to be friendly. <laughs> we're here <laughs> to put the football right. <laughs> down and see how it turns out. Uh, yeah. I, I'm looking at him as, as a player that that's really going to turn a lot of heads and, and people are going to say, who is that number 30 for a t out there just killing it between the tackles outside, uh, just doing it really big for the Aggies. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be a couple of uh, guys that are just going to surprise people uh, that weren't aware. Of course, Aggie fans are aware of them, but I'm kind of looking at from an outside view, like Big South fans, uh, Big South conference fans are going to get a chance to get exposed to uh, some of the Aggies that, you know, the Aggies have been putting guys in the NFL, you know, the past couple of years. Like this this program uh, that's been built up by Coach Washington, it's the top-notch program. Uh, there's a lot of teams that don't want to see a and just out of the fear of if we lose this game, we weren't supposed to lose this game. If we win this game, then, you know, what do we gain from it? And A&T kind of got in that position where it was starting to get hard to, to, to even, you know, schedule teams in the non-conference part because they had gotten so good. So, uh, I, you know, I, I don't really expect A&T to, uh, to struggle coming in. I, I, like I said, I think they're going to surprise people right off the bat. And I, I'm really curious to see how far they can go with this, uh, considering they're used to winning. And they didn't play last year. They were one of the few schools in the country that chose to opt out of the entire uh, season. So they've, they've got kids that haven't played in over a year that are just chomping at the bit to show what they can do. Uh, it's just going to be a good time, man. It's going to be real fun. Uh, I'm excited for a and and the opportunity they got in front of them. And uh, they get one of the better personalities as far as coaches go. Uh, Sam Washington is a walking soundbite, very – Authentic, very transparent, and, and funny as well. Uh, but when it's time to get serious, he does that as well. Um, I think he's really going to be great uh, to, to be one of the faces of that football program as the head coach making inroads in, in a new conference. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tell him to bring me my money, uh, <laughs> Coach Washington, man. I, I hope I get a chance to really build a relationship with him this year since we'll be doing the coaches' shows and I'll actually be on uh, campus. 
uh, A&T's campus, man, I, I, I grew up on the other side of their campus, uh, like, you know, where A&T is located in East Greensboro, it's kind of nestled into a neighborhood. And uh, my aunt actually for a time lived on the other side, uh, kind of in between A&T and uh, the baseball stadium, War Memorial. So as a kid in the summer, my fondest memories are hearing the A&T band, like the drum line coming down the road. You could hear them through the woods, clear as day. And we'd go outside, sit on the front porch, and their band room was like right through the woods. So like you could literally hear them coming from practice, marching down the street, and then the drum line would stop like at the front of their, their band building and basically give you a concert for like 45 minutes. And like that's one of the most fondest memories I have as a kid uh, and for it to be with a and and for it to kind of come back around full circle for me to be able to help them uh, get the message out about their their athletic programs. It's just a dream come true for me to be able to, to to come back around and be able to do that. But I was thinking about that the other day when I was on campus uh, talking with Brian Holloway, uh, the associate athletic director. And I was just kind of looking around. I was like, man, I, I never would have thought when I was you know nine or 10 that I'd be in a, a, a situation or opportunity like this to be able to to come in and help A&T do something like this. So it, it's just a great feeling, man. I'm really excited for A&T and the city of Greensboro, too. It's going to put a lot of light and exposure on Greensboro. Um, with them playing and I, I can't wait to get started. It's going to be here before we know it. I know it's uh, about a month away, but that literally is like two hours in our time. So it'll, it'll boom, <laughs> it'll be here. So can't wait to get started. Desmond, you are, you are hyper local. Uh, you have the pulse of, of what people, you know, right there in Greensboro, Guilford County, the triad, you know, that, that alumni base in the state of North Carolina. Um, how, how are people feeling? Because I, I know not every single person was like, hey, yeah, let's leave the MEAC and go, go to the Big South. What, what do you hear from people w- when they talk about it? Uh, it's kind of divided by age. Um, when, if you talk to the older uh, fan base, they're kind of used to the traditional rivalries. And, you know, you're not going to have some of those uh, right off the bat anymore. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks that still remember when A&T played Winston-Salem State every year, you know, and, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, and they don't do that anymore, although A&T is quick to put a billboard up right there at uh, Highway 52 right before uh, <laughs> right before you get off of Winston-Salem State, like every year. So that rivalry is still there. They just don't see each other on the field as often as they used to. Hey, we, we have our uh, the younger MLK, generation. You, get your, you get your MLK. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, MLK like they, they, it's like they – it's like they're aware of each other. They know each other. They don't see each other every year, but they do these little things to each other. When you see it, you just kind of shake your head like, there they go. <laughs> so hopefully they'll get a chance to see each other uh, in the next couple of years. The younger fan base, they're ready for it. Um, you know, I, I speak to uh, Jalen Gilkey, who uh, works over at WFMY. He's an Aggie. Uh, he graduated from there. Uh, now he's over in the WFMY sports department and he's been on uh, my show franchise players a couple of times and he's a proud Aggie as most are. And uh, he was like, you know, we, we're taking out all bums. We don't care who we play. Like we don't mind going up to a bigger division. We want to go up to a bigger place and see everybody. Cause we've been beating everybody in the MEAC for, you know, the past couple of years, they kind of look at it as a challenge that they can take. Um, they're ready to show off. So the whole thing, the football team, the band's going to get more exposure than ever before. Like it's just, they're ready for it. And I think the, the, the older fans are going to come around and realize that this was a, a great move for, uh, for A&T as a school, as a whole. Uh, Desmond, I, I tell you right now, man, as people are watching this on, on different platforms, uh, they're in the comments right now, <laughs> like that Kermit the Frog <laughs> meme, man. They're, they're going back and forth right, right <laughs> yeah. now. I can see into the future as we record and see the smoke coming off the keyboards. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll oh, let you guys yeah. decide which, which move was the better move uh, and which was not. Uh, but I want to go back to, to you for a second before we wrap up. You know, some people might be thinking, hey, man, why is HBCU game day talking about another platform? That's not how you do it. Uh, look, <laughs> D- Des and I go back uh, as, as I was, you know, doing my part to help uh, build and push game day forward. I was bouncing ideas off Dez and saying, you know, man, look at this. What do you think? And, you know, we talk about analytics and, and Dez is super smart. So, you know, you always surround yourself with uh, smart people. So, yes. you know, bl- black owned media. And I always have to say this. There's a difference between black focus media 
and black owned media. Those are two separate things. Yep. Two, might be the same highway, but, but different lanes with, with the different median lanes. in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a lot of crossover there. Um, so I'm always willing to have other black owned media share their story in, in an effort to inspire other people who, who have these dreams as well. Uh, by you being able to partner with a brand like a t who you don't have to describe, you don't have to explain, it's a t People know what you're talking about. Uh, what does that mean for your company to have this partnership with the Aggies? Oh, it's huge. It's a game changer. Uh, I mean, we by doing this, I think by the time we're done with uh, this academic 2021-22 school year, uh, hopefully Tobacco Road will be in a position to do much, much bigger things. We were already a player in the high school football game here in the triad immediately. Um, and that just came from my love of doing high school football. I mean, we were doing high school football together. How long ago was that? Nine years, 10 years? Like, I, might, <laughs> I don't even remember might, how long it was. <laughs> it might be 11, Des, the more oh I think God. about it. <laughs> dude, I, dude, I was telling a friend the other day uh, a story. We were, at, we were at Smith. We were doing Smith Dudley and it was homecoming. And I had never seen so many people in my life packed around this football field. And we're up in this little booth thing they had going on and there's people on the roof above us but it's like a thin like piece of wood separating like all this camera equipment and people from us in this box and we're sitting there and all of a sudden we hear this rumbling like over the hill and we're like what is that and like the 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 booth starts shaking and like people start screaming and hollering like what is going on and we look over the hill and all of a sudden we see Dudley's band and a and band come marching down the hill into the, the bowl. And the roar from the crowd was just so loud. And a and band was so loud. And like they stayed. They were with Dudley that night. They came with Dudley to a road game to Smith for Smith's homecoming to try to disrupt it. Like that's just that's just crazy to me. And that was my first real exposure to it in a long time. And uh, that just kind of showed me the love that a t gets in Greensboro. Because, I mean, Smith fans were cheering. I mean, this is their homecoming getting wrecked. And, and a t's band is still getting cheered by, by the Smith faithful that are there. And uh, it just turned into a party. And I think it's going to be like that, you know, every Saturday. Uh, I, I mean, I wish I could produce it from the parking lot so I could have a plate of fish with me while I'm doing this. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe I'm going to I'm gonna have to uh, holler at Brian and figure something out. Maybe we can get some kind of. DoorDash or something know, going I, on. Holloway's <laughs> pretty tight when it comes to a fish plate, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. I, I, I wish you a little luck. And me and Holloway go back. We went to high school together, so I, I, oh, okay. I, can, I can joke on him a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll tell, tell him I thought to you for if, sure. If people aren't familiar with uh, Dudley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina, it's like a t Junior College. <laughs> yes, like yes, it really is. <laughs> they, they both support each other. They're literally right beside each other almost. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's been so great, man, to uh, to catch up with you uh, again. Let people know how they can uh, watch, how they can listen uh, for all the A&T content that you have coming up this year with your company, Tobacco Road Sports Radio. Okay, so uh, starting off with the, the actual games, uh, to you can get to the schedule uh, on the A&T website. Um, and it's all over there. Just Google a t football. You can get to the schedule. Uh, those games will be played on TobaccoRoadSportsRadio.com that you can stream live uh, from your phone, your tablet, uh, laptop, desktop, wherever, whatever device you, might, you may be using, you can get to it there, uh, anywhere in the, uh, the country. Um, the coaches shows each week will also be broadcasted on tobacco road. And if you go to tobacco road, sports radio.com, there's a schedule there. So you can kind of see where everything is. Cause we'll, we'll run it live. I believe it's Mondays at 1230 as when the coaches shows are. Um, and then we'll repeat it later on in the week before the actual uh, Aggie game. Uh, we are actually doing the production uh, videos for the coaches press conferences for a &T. Uh, Those are at noon every Monday. So you can see Coach Washington here coming up here in a couple of weeks. Um, and then they also have an item called Aggie Podcast that's hosted by Brian Holloway. And basically, that's just uh, it's a Facebook watch uh, show. So you can watch that on Facebook watch. Go to Facebook and like Tobacco Road Sports Radio, you'll be able to see it there. I'm sure uh, a t will share it to their platforms as well. And that's really more, not necessarily sports, uh, sports is included, but Brian gets a chance to interview former uh, famous alumni, current teachers, uh, staff, athletes, coaches, things, anything Aggie related. 
uh, and that's put together by Brian Holloway. And that's a Facebook watch show that'll be on uh, each week during this, uh, the school year as well. So uh, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of content that's going to be coming out that's Aggie related. We can't wait to get started to get into it. Uh, again, thanks to Brian Holloway and the fine folks over at AT for giving us an opportunity. And uh, I just feel like it's going to be a huge, huge uh, deal for AT going forward. Uh, to show that they can really do this um, and do it big, do it Aggie style. And uh, I think they're going to come out uh, blazing week one here. Well, look, it, that part makes me super happy. Uh, I'm excited. You know, what's done is done. The A&T is on to the Big South. However you feel about it is however you feel about it. Uh, but yep. we really hope uh, A&T and Hampton, we wish them well. And I'm so excited to see, uh, again, Black-owned media having a partnership with North Carolina a and uh, with your company, Desmond. So happy for you guys at Tobacco Road. And look, watch the highlights, okay? Watch the highlights at HBCU yes. game day. But if you're going to catch the uh, broadcast, uh, you know, real time, we don't do that. So make sure you go over and check out <laughs> Desmond. There's no competition there on that. Look, I- I'll, be, I'll be listening for, for context. So when we put the stories together, I'll know exactly what happened. And uh, Donald Ware with Box the Row, he'll be on the call. So... Uh, it'll be some great synergy this fall. Des, thank you so much for joining us, man, and uh, look forward to checking out what you guys have to offer uh, this fall and beyond. Hey, man, thank you so much for uh, having me on. Um, I, I want to—I need to get you on franchise players sometimes during the season uh, to talk a little Aggie football as well. So we'll get that situated. Uh, love what you guys do over at HBCU Game Day, and just keep it going, man. Uh, like you said, uh, you know, black-owned businesses, especially in media, uh, you know, we got to kind of do things a little bit extra to get it where we want it to be and uh we're just happy and excited to get an opportunity to do this and uh hopefully we can keep it rolling so uh, i appreciate the opportunity for sure all right he's desmond johnson tobacco road sports radio.com you are you watching us here at hbcu game day thanks so much for hanging out and enjoying the conversation